But it's hard to be a star because you have to have the toughness. You have to be able to, I, that, that's one thing I found out. It's, it's not just talent that makes a person a star. Uh, it helps to have a good manager. It really helps to have a good manager. Uh, and then you have, to, you have to have a toughness to where you're going to not back down, you know, because there's going to be compromises thrown at you every step of the way. They're going to say, well, if you only change this song, we'll have a better chance to get on the radio. If you only get rid of the, that drummer and bring in another drummer, if you only change your sound a little, get rid of, the, the, of, the, of this punk thing and try this more southern rock sound. You know, I mean, it's always, and, and you say, and it's easy to get talked into it because you say, well, gee, once I get that number one record, then I'll change and, you know, oh, I want that record so bad and, and then I'll do the right thing and stuff like that. But you, but you end up getting caught in that. You end up forever doing the, the, you know, the, the kind of wrong thing and stuff. So it's so tough. You have to be really tough. Like you 2 there's a guy... There's a band that's that. Uh, I mean, there's there's two different things. There's one there's one kind of person who says I want to make a great record and I want to have a number one record. Okay. Then, now, the, if you go back in rock history, Elvis, the Beatles, Hendrix, all those guys that were revered wanted both. Okay. At some point, it got it, radio changed the game plan and it became more formalized and it was harder and harder to get hit records. So a lot of great bands, I think, have given up on having the number one record and they just try to make the great record and stuff. But I think that's often they sacrifice a little bit because they don't work making it. You know, that's, it's a great record, yes, in some ways, but it, it might even be better if it could find a way to appeal to more people. Like U2 is just a master at that, you know? Beautiful Day, what an incredible song that is, or or the Streets With No Name, or I'm st I have still haven't found what I'm looking for. Those are just incredible songs that find an audience too. It's not just a great song, but it's, it's reaching out and so when they keep working on that. And, and and so that's, to my mind, it's a toughness, it's a determination, and they also, they tour, they go on television shows, they do everything they can to promote it. A lot, a lot of bands say, oh, that's not chic, you know, that's not cool to go on television and promote your record or do that kind of stuff. It's it's corny, or like the iPod ad that you two did, but it's all that's all done with the purpose of being out there in the marketplace and competing because, you know, they're competing against, you know, I mean, a new generation of kids don't know who U2 is, so they have to keep presenting themselves, and you have to keep, and that's why, I, what I think about Jack White is so great. I saw him, at, he was at the Troubadour the first time I saw him, and I walked in that room, and after seeing years and years of people who you see that, well, this, you know, you go to, you, you know, over the years, you go to hundreds of nights at shows, and 80% and of the bands, 90%, again, are just doing what the, you saw last night down the street, okay? But here's a guy who was doing something, it reminded me of Johnny Cash. You could, you could take a two by four and hit him in the head. He's not gonna change no matter what you do and stuff. And I just think he's, I was, last time he was at the Greek theater, I saw four nights in a row. You know, I just think, I think if Jack White and the White Stripes had been at any genera any point in the 50s, 60s, 70s, they would have been, you know, they, he, he'd have been touring with Elvis in the 50s. He'd have been touring with this, you know, Beatles or, uh, you know, Dylan in the 60s. I think, I just think, it, it's, it's, that's what really keeps you going, I think, as a, as a rock journalist, is trying to find, the, you have to be inspired yourself the same way uh, you know an audience or a fan does